Hello, everybody. So we've got this uh, Elect Freaks Microbit Wonder Building Kit. It says 20 in 1, but on the website, um, you're going to find it as a 32 in 1 because they've added 12 models that you can, if they give instructions to build. Obviously, you build hundreds of models. Um, we're going to play with their sonar bit. Is what they've got. It's a uh, basically an HCSR04 um, ultrasonic, where it sends out an ultrasonic signal and then receives it back. But they've done something with it on the hardware side that makes it only use one pin instead of two. Usually they use uh, two, um, a trigger and a receive kind of thing. Uh, they've got this only using one, so something different. Now again, when you're plugging things in, pay attention to the labeling. This has ground, voltage, and signal. I've got a cable here. Um, ground is black, red is voltage, and yellow is signal. Plug you in like that. And then again, pay attention to on your, on your expansion board where things are plugging in. Um, yellow, I'm gonna go on pin zero. I can pick most any pin there, right? This is going to be an analog signal, not a digital, not just a zero or one, but a range of numbers. Um, so you got to make sure that the pins can do analog. I forget if all the pins do analog or only some do analog. I know zero, one, and two are fine. Um, and then I'm going to make this trigger a servo. I can have it trigger motors. I can have it trigger light. I can have it trigger all sorts of things. Um, so think like a car obstacle avoidance car where it's driving up and you know, it senses something and then you know backs up and turns kind of thing um, I'm going to act like this is um, like a uh, toll booth gate and you know when something gets close the toll booth the gate goes up uh, you could rig up uh, like an electric sliding door or you actually if you put it like this it could be actually a, an open door right okay uh, I'm going to put this on servo zero seven just to stay on the outside and again, how do I know this is a servo? Well, it's got three wires. It's got a signal, a voltage, and a ground. So make sure you plug it in the right way. Red is always voltage. Black or brown is ground. Yellow, orange, blues tend to be signal. All right. So there is our, yeah, yeah. Play with the wires. And then our micro bit. All right, so let's go over to, um, let's go to the internet. All right, so again, you know, always look at your, uh, you know, read through that page of all the stuff about the kit. Remember, they've got this nice little wiki talking about things, uh, how to build stuff. Look at the page for the, for the expansion board. They've got a wiki for the expansion board. These are all linked on, you know, on their site. But then, you know, Here's the, the sonar bit. So you might want to read about the sonar bit. So don't get too confused. They've got this code down here at the bottom. It's just like, I'm not sure quite sure what they're doing with it. So ignore that code. We're going to something different. Okay. So we come to our make code. We're going to do a new project. Uh, we're going to call Wukong sonar bit. Boom, boom, boom. We need to get some extensions, two extensions actually. So we need to go to either extensions up here or extensions down here. Take your pick, doesn't matter. It goes to the same place. Type in Wukong. Boom. Click on that, get that Wukong bit, uh, bit of code. All those blocks that they do right here, boom. Because that's gonna run the servos for us. And the LEDs, I'm gonna have to make it do the LEDs. I like lights, I'm sorry. Now there's one more thing you gotta get. Let's come back to this. Um, Back to this wiki. So this is, let me go all the way back to the beginning. Oh my gosh, where are you? All right, so this is the 32 in one Wonder Building Kit. This is their wiki for building all of their models that they have. And what was that, number 11? No. Automatic doors, because we gotta, I, well, I, need, I need to copy and paste something because I couldn't find the one code block of code that's needed for this, because there's a different way to search for it. So I'm gonna go down here to software. 
There's a different way to search for it. So yeah, I searched for the Wukong. I got it. Boom. Now down here, we need this sonar bit block of code. So they tell me right here, and I missed it the first time. Um, search for this. So I grab that GitHub uh, address, come back, back to my uh, make code, go to extensions, and I put that in. Lo and behold, there's the Electfreaks sonar bit. Because no matter how what ways I typed in sonar or Electfreaks, um, that block wouldn't come up. So, there we go. It's just one block. Right there, boom, sonar. It's that one block, that's it. But it's a special block because this is only using one pin, not the traditional two pins. So, I need that one bit of code. All right. All right, so let's get NeoPixels in here. Again, boom, drop that on start. It just says, hey, I've got a set of NeoPixels at pin 16 is where they are at. There are four of them. That's just, that's just an on start thing. Since I have this thing doing servos, um, I want to make sure I want to work on, I want to make sure I know where the servo is to start. Um, again, we have a 360 servo. This gray geek servo thing is a 360 servo. It means it'll go any angle between 0 and 360. It's not a continuous rotation servo, which keeps spinning. It's just going to go to an angle. I've got it on servo 7. Um, I want it to start at 90. And on my um, toll booth gate, that's closed. All right. Now. Here's logic. We need some if statements. If something gets closed, open the gate. Else, keep the gate closed. Right? Simple logic. So I need an if. If something is true. Well, that's that's this. If this is less than something. So now I need a piece of math, a piece of math in that logic. So again, blocks fit all nicely. So if the ultrasonic distance... Drop it in there. In millimeters, no, I don't want millimeters. I want centimeters. At pin zero, yes, I'm on pin zero. You see, you can put it at different pins. Um, let's go less than 10. Less than 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters is about uh, the width of your, up across your palm, maybe including the thumb. So if that is less than 10, open the gate, right? Well, that means I want to make the lights go green. Make the lights go green. Make the lights go green for go, right? And open the gate. Copy and paste that. Change that 90 to zero. Um, but I need that else. That What else would I do? So I click else, and the else is keep the gate closed, right? And have the strip have it show red. When you appear, boom, boom, boom. Um, let's see. Closed is ninety. All right. So if the sensor is seeing something less than ten, and it's on pin zero, less than ten centimeters, then turn lights green and set my servo to zero, and zero in here would be open. Else. Otherwise, um, have the lights be red and keep the gate closed and closed as 90. And just keep doing that forever. I want to add one more thing. Pause is often your friend. Pause is a nice thing to get in there. Give it some wait time. So I'm going to throw a two second pause in that gate open to give people time to get through the gate. Sounds good. Sounds good, right? Okay, so I need to grab my micro bit and I need to grab the right cord. Uh, plug in my micro bit. This way. And I'm going to download. Let's see, now it's ready. See, I've connected the, the device using these three dots before. So if you hadn't done that yet, you might want to use these three dots to connect your micro bit. That way it downloads directly to the micro bit. The other option is to download it to the computer, drag and drop it on your micro bit. 
Dun, 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 dun. Downloaded. Yay. Now let's go back to camera. Dun, dun, dun. Put this in. And turn on. So we see we're red. We see our gate is closed. I'm going to get closer. Went green and the gate opened. Go away, goes red. Get close. Now you gotta you gotta make sure you're covering the right part of the sensor, otherwise it's not gonna read it. So there we go. And they say that, that this has a sensitivity up to four, uh, 400 centimeters, which seems really far because this is going to spread, the signal is going to like spread out in like a cone. So let's see how good this is. See it now? It's bouncing. Okay, here we go because I kept moving. So here's our, that's about 10 centimeters. Again, across your palm, it's about 10 centimeters. See, it's not, not, not triggered here. What we get here and it is okay so again you know that's that's just using this to trigger some action i'm actually doing two i'm doing lights and i'm doing hey open the gate kind of thing and you could build something out of with servos and motors that could be like a a, a a sliding glass door kind of thing or just your, your basic car um that avoids obstacles that stops when it's you know so close and backs up and turns kind of thing so there is using the sonar bit from the kit. Enjoy.